Hi there, and welcome to the Kids Art Projects 101 YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Medico, and I am an art teacher at an awesome elementary school near Orlando, Florida. I am so happy that you're here. The content you're about to watch is from our series of short, kid-friendly videos about famous artists. Are you ready to try one now? Let's do it. This is Louise Nevelson. She's not alive anymore, but she and her artworks are still very famous. She made this sculpture. Take a careful look. What is this sculpture made from? If you think it looks like random junk, Congratulations, you're actually right. Louise Nevelson is considered the first artist to create large scale sculptures entirely from found objects. Found objects are big and small discarded items of all kinds. They can be found in junkyards, abandoned lots, and even on the side of the road. While some may perceive these items to be useless and old, Nevelson saw beauty and potential. In her most famous works, Nevelson filled crates and boxes with old bedposts, chair legs, railings, and other found wooden objects. She stacked the crates to make freestanding sculptural walls. This type of sculpture is called an assemblage. An assemblage is a work of art made from found or unrelated objects. Sometimes she would paint the whole structure white. Sometimes she painted everything gold. but most of the time, she painted it all black. She liked that black contained all the colors. Art with one color only is called monochromatic. Mono means one and chroma means color. Louise Nevelson was very consistent about her use of color. She only used black, white, or gold. Why do you think she covered all the objects in a single color of paint like this? She believed this gave her assemblages a feeling of unity. Unity is when all the elements of an artwork combine to create a sense of balance and harmony. Louise Nevelson's father worked as a woodcutter and a junkyard owner. How do you think that may have influenced her interests? To this day, Nevelson is among the most significant sculptors in American history. That's it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. Teachers, build off this specific video with the Open and Go art unit I use in my classroom. 